Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add external contacts uh, to an address book in Microsoft 365. Uh, let me explain to you the use case. So uh, obviously when um, IT provisions uh, Microsoft 365 accounts, uh, for your colleagues, for the employees, they become part uh, of the uh, address book. So, for example, if I want to look up somebody's, you know, phone number, or uh, I want to send an email, uh, let's say I'm sending an email uh, to my colleague. Obviously, because you know Mary is part of, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the user base. Uh, you know, it recognizes the email address and I can also look up, uh, you know, Mary's uh, contact information and so on. Uh, but let's just say you have some external uh, users uh, and uh, maybe, I don't know, some trusted vendors and uh, consultants and you want uh, the information, you know, email address and phone number to be available. Uh, kind of globally to to everyone. Well, guess what? It's actually possible to do now. This is something that obviously requires a Microsoft uh, 365 global uh, admin privileges. This is not something you know <laughs> regular employees can do. Uh, but let me show you how it's done. So uh, you need to navigate to, or your um, obviously IT admin will need to navigate to the uh, admin center. Uh, Microsoft 365 Global Admin uh, Center uh, and the users. This is where actually uh, all the you know uh, accounts are provisioned. Uh, but uh, what the tab you want to click on is Contacts, and this is where you add external contacts. It actually tells you here people outside of your organization. This is where uh, you can add uh, the information about them. I already have a few uh, entries. Uh, let's add another one. Um, first of all, you can uh, add them one by one, uh, or you can even, um, you know, kind of import them using the CSV file, uh, which is pretty straightforward. But let's just add one uh, contact. I am going to um, just type in uh, another contact information. Automatically grabs the, um, you know. Uh, the uh, yeah, you know the email address, the display name, and uh, let's provide uh, an email address. Uh, and obviously, there is um, you know there is additional information you can put in, right? Whatever you put in, company and uh, mobile number and you know uh, address and so on. Obviously, that's why we are doing it here. But uh, you um, you might want to populate that. Uh, let's not waste our time here with this. Let's add uh, this. Um, uh, additional contact, all right? And let me tell you where uh, this will become available. Now, I think because I just added this uh, contact, it uh, actually might take uh, some time uh, for the uh, contact to be available from, uh, let's say, Outlook. But uh, yeah, it actually tells us over here, allow 30 minutes, all right? So we are probably not going to see uh, this contact appear in our um, address book right away, but let me show you where this information would be available. Uh, so obviously in the future when um, somebody tries to email that contact, their email address will pop up, I will recognize the name, uh, but let me click on the, um, you know, on the people tab. And if you click on default global address list, uh, this uh, will show you the information uh, for that is populated in the in the global address book, and uh, this captures both internal and external, you know, contact as well. Actually, as a matter of fact, look at this. We just added this contact. Uh, here we go. All right, but this is where you're going to see uh, pretty much all the contacts, whether they are. Um, you know, internal uh, or external. And again, let me uh, show you uh, something else. If I now uh, try to uh, send an email, so uh, I can uh, just uh, type in the external user's email address or name, I'm sorry, and it will automatically uh, recognize the email and uh, because they're part of that uh, global uh, address book now. So, uh, Super convenient, in my opinion. I mean, the only uh, drawback, I guess, right? It um, 
um, you know, it has to be done. This uh, has to be set up uh, within the admin center, obviously by global admins. But once you add your trusted partners in there, uh, they will become available to the whole organization, and uh, you can easily look up uh, the the uh, you know contact information, address, phone number, and other information about your external users, and they will be part of your uh, directory, if you will. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. Is always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my youtube channel thank you very much goodbye